Hello and welcome to Eatonville School District's Focus on Education Visitation Day, November 15, 2015. Today we will be visiting three schools, Weyerhaeuser Elementary School, Eatonville Elementary School, and Columbia Crest A STEM Academy. The morning started off by going north to Weyerhaeuser Elementary. On January 29, 2015, Weyerhaeuser Elementary was given the designation of STEM Lighthouse School, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. This has allowed them to pursue blended learning models and to encourage fluency in the use of Google Chromebooks, Windows computers, and tablets. Weyerhaeuser Elementary School has a variety of unique and engaging opportunities for learning across all grades, including its Outdoor Connections program, its heavy focus in robotics, and the Mount Rainier Parent Partnership program co-located at Weyerhaeuser Elementary. Students shared wonderful presentations from the Outdoor Connection program describing their ongoing projects. The work in the classroom, as well as in Wildcat Woods, has enhanced learning beyond what a normal public school situation usually provides. The tour was shown the several STEM projects that students work on from all grade levels. Another stop-off at Weyerhaeuser Elementary is the Mount Rainier Parent Partnership Program. It is a hybrid homeschooling program that recognizes individual learning styles and educational needs and melds them with the traditional school program that fosters a classroom environment that is safe, caring, and fun. Superintendent Creston Barr leads the tour through all the schools to get a closer look at how Eatonville School District leads in creativity, student engagement, and enhanced learning through STEM. There were several Q&A sessions during the tour that were enlightening and informative for all. The next stop on the tour was to Eatonville Elementary School. Here, Principal Diane Hearsink introduced the student body ASB officers. The school's major focus this year has been integrating STEM with the arts, expanding into a new and engaging reading curriculum, and implementing new technology into special education that encourages learning at all levels. In Mrs. Ames' fifth grade math class, students are learning how to integrate art with mathematics. The topic this day was fractions and proportions and how those ideas can be used by artists to apply to their own art. In Mrs. Ricketts' third grade class, students are deep into a dynamic all-skills program that integrates conversation practice, reading, writing, and listening, all in a light-hearted, fun, and easy-to-use format. This has fundamentally changed reading instruction at the elementary level. Students are engaged, gain more comprehension, and increase in confidence daily. After Mrs. Ricketts' class, the tour made its way to the special education program at Eatonville Elementary School, where we were introduced to exciting technology acquired by the district earlier this year. Here, students with specialized learning needs are using smart tables. Armed with apps that cater to various learning styles in the classroom, teachers are able to use different strategies thanks to the smart tables to teach students important math and language arts concepts in a fun, unique, and engaging way. On to another STEM-centered school. Columbia Crest A STEM Academy, which has elementary and middle school located under one roof, this school was the first in the district to receive its STEM Lighthouse grant in early 2014. They have since used it to implement STEM curriculum and programs that focus on the natural sciences, robotics, tablet integration, and project-based learning training for its staff and students. This style of teaching transforms schools from learning in isolation to solving problems and simulating real-world STEM experiences. Welcome to Columbia Crest A STEM. Would you like a mentor too? In Miss Burslam's second grade class, students are participating in spelling and math practice on tablets. As technology skills are becoming more important in today's society, they need to be developed at an earlier age in order for education to keep up. These interactive programs keep students interested in their own learning and love to see how much progress they can make from session to session. Here in Mrs. Brandt's first grade class, students are learning about how the Native American peoples communicated using symbols. This teaches the students that different people from different times and places from all over the world communicate in a variety of ways. Students then explain to the visitors what they are learning and why it's important. In the middle school, humanities teacher Mrs. Johnstone explains to visitors her quest to accumulate one million bread tabs. As these bread tabs are mailed to her from all over the United States, she has her students count and categorize them. Students learn about scale and comprehending larger numbers, as well as the power of exponents. The bread tabs are used to relate to other subject areas such as science and history. 
Part of being in a STEM school involves learning how the process of science, technology, engineering, and math interrelate. Sixth through eighth grade students participated in a long-term STEM project where they built miniature working catapults. They learned about measurements, trajectories, slopes, the value of good note-keeping, and engineering in valuable, hands-on ways. At the end of the tour, visitors were treated to a Q&A panel with students from several grades at Columbia Crest A STEM where they could ask questions and get valuable feedback about how STEM has changed their learning and how they think about the natural world around them. STEM is part discovery, part teamwork, and all about inspiring the natural curiosity of a student's mind. All of these qualities were exhibited here and across the district today in different and exciting ways. Eatonville School District's Focus on Education Visitation Day 2015-16 through STEM and the Arts Together, we commit to inspiring lifelong learners to create a better future.